uh, so you know, all evening we've you know we've been speaking about this idea of the Indian and the Indian identity, and I'm very confused because I came to this country 20 years back, and I lived here, and uh, I'm uh, Sonali's better half. Uh, I'm also an architect, and we worked across you know uh, different parts of this country, you know, metros, tier two, tier three, tier four towns, and I to date struggle with the idea that I think that you know. Bengal is Bengali first and Indian second. Tamil is Tamil first and Indian second. The notion of the Indian uh, nationhood is actually a very nebulous construct. It is a very, very young construct. It's 60, 70 years old. No, it, that's a very colonial construct that was manufactured like that. This is what was trained to Oxford in Co Oxford and Cambridge. Civil servants were trained on this. The idea of India is very old. That's why we were talking about the pilgrimage. No, 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 no. You're completely wrong. There is a region, okay? There is a region of, uh, of South Asia, right, which includes Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, it's a region, it's a region, and this region has grown over and over an evolutionary period of about 10,000 years with, with cultures and subcultures forming. The idea of India is, pol is, is colonial. It is not, no. so, so let me, one second, let me, can I okay. finish my point if you don't mind? Okay, so, and I actually was addressing the question. Yeah. Uh, you are please. right to, in some so, way, and so, I would like to. Uh, so just to conclude I'll my question. I'll mediate between the two of you. No, I, let me just conclude my question. Yeah. Right. So. So when you say that uh, Indians are a particular way and Indians are not a particular way, who are we really referring to between the self, the community, the state, and the nationhood? Okay. So I think the bigger issue that you raised is the idea of India being old or new. I agree with you. The idea of a modern state as currently defined, uh, official, formal state, constitution, rule of law, common military currency, or all that, is new, but a cultural unity, a cultural spiritual unity exists by virtue of the fact that if you look at Adi Shankara in way back, traveling to the four corners of this country because he saw there is something in common. Every hundred miles a different language, but still it is, if, if this is not common, why would he consider this the space, this is the geography that he has to boundary here with these mathas that he started. Even before that, you look at the Shakti Peetams, the 108 Shakti Peetams of the Devi. They go all over Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh, all over India with a sense of unified architecture. There's, a, there's an architecture of the Shakti Peetams, which is a unified architecture spread across all this. You see the, you see the old uh, narratives in the south of Kashmir, the mountains, Mount Kailash. It's all part of the folklore and the itihas of India. And you see the people in the north talking about Rameshwaram and the whole Lanka story. So if you look at the stories, the stories, the narratives uh, that are in people's imagination as the sense of who we are. The, the, if you take Ramayana as a sense of for a certain genre, for a certain period in history, a sense of a collective narrative of who we are, it is a, across geographical, it is spread across the geography. So that is a sense not of India but of some entity maybe you can't name. It is not a political... Bharat Varsha, this term exists for a long time. And uh, just to add one example that I'll give you from a field that is not considered religious drama, the Natyashastra, that's what my, it, that is the area of my study. My PhD is on the Natyashastra. Chapter 14 of the Natyashastra, it tells the different theatre performers about the different parts of India and how performances vary. So the performer must know local cultural variations and if you see the if you look at the chapter it's available you'll see that the examples are drawn from different parts of india that would correspond geographically to what we have thank you uh, 